Alright, now we're in the Model X, and uh, first we're going to test a refresh of the um, web page. So it seems to load it just fine until here, and then it kind of uh, peters out. I'm not sure what the deal is there. That seems to come up just fine, yeah. Now let's try um, Electric Sight. Lurk trick. Not quite. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh that's pretty fast. It's pretty cool. See about, uh, about that. Yeah, that's definitely much more useful than previously. All right, let's go to maps. All right, here's maps. The first thing that I want to test is the banner up top. So you hit the maps to go full screen. Now watch for the latency time and um, all that and how smooth it is. Oops. Yeah, that's just, that's so smooth. My hands are a little dry, so the touch capacitive isn't coming in yet. But it's, that's much more reliable than the other ones, especially when you have, like, autopilot going and um, navigation going. You know, the if you've got maps full screen and you tap on the screen with all the other stuff going, sometimes it can, can be kind of delayed to get to the apps that you actually want. So, all right, let's zoom in on Chicago. Pretty speedy. You can still see the layers come one by one, but it's quite quick. And there's hardly any blotching of the actual map, uh, which is pretty cool. So even if we zoom like way out, yeah, still really fast. So let's go back in here. Um, yeah, let's do a finger test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine ten da 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 pretty good. Let's turn satellite on. Whoa, look how fast that is. Alright, let's do some zooming with satellite. Boom. Boom. Oof. That is really fast. And even with the satellite imagery, it's still about the same latency and stuff, so wow, that's pretty cool. Alright. Let's go test the S. All right, now we're in the 2015 S, which has the old MCU. So the difference between the old and new, the old one was an NVIDIA chip. Um, hasn't been updated, I don't think, since the Model S has been out. So it's been, what, five years or something? Five or six? Uh, the new one is an Intel um, chip or card or whatever. And that's the extent of my knowledge. So um, let me turn these lights on here. All right, so uh, let's do a refresh of the Tesla homepage. Barely gets there. And also, it doesn't really display the banners and stuff correctly either. And now let's try um, electrics. Sight. I don't know why it's going to Amazon. That's weird. Electric.co. There we go. And it's taking. Oh, there we go. Now this car is about five feet farther from my Wi-Fi, home Wi-Fi, but that shouldn't really matter. So, yeah, this happened earlier. It never quite loaded the banner correctly. Oh, and it's actually, you know, you can... Mm, yeah, that's barely usable. If I want to... Whoa, look at that lag. Woo, crazy. 
By the way, Fred, nice Model S. Um, all right, so let's switch to maps. Okay, here we have Chicago. So let's do a point test. So la da 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 da. Definitely more laggy. Um, all right, let's zoom in. Very blotchy. Traffic. Okay, names, and then traffic comes. All right. Let's go even farther into. So blotchy streets, names, traffic. On cue, uh, but quite delayed. Let's go to satellite. Hmm, that actually came up pretty good. So image, resolution, improvement, street sign, or names, and then traffic. Wow, that's really low. All right, what if we zoom out? Okay. Lots of image acquisition image creation, layers, okay, it's doing them all kind of at once now, interesting. And then, uh, set that load. And then, yeah, can't do anything outside of its cached areas. Definitely more laggy. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. All right, there it is. Now, um, all this stuff is, oh, I was gonna show the, uh, yeah, okay, I wanna do the banner here. Um, so, all right, let's go to full screen. Yeah, now let's do that. Yeah, look how chop choppy and blocky that was. It's okay when nothing else is going on, but let's try zooming in. Now it's thinking about stuff. Yeah, see? So when you're driving and you're trying to multitask, get maps, maybe adjust, I don't know, something up here, bring up the rear view uh, video camera or something, you know, those delays make you have to think about what you're doing here instead of thinking about the road, so, um, yeah. So uh, there are going to be updates to this. So first of all, Musk said that the MCU will be ret will be able to be retrofitted in the vehicles. So apparently, you will be able to upgrade it if you want. But he also said the next the real software update to the older Teslas will make this much 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 faster. Boy, look at this! It's still going. Um, and so you may not, you functionally you may not need to um, update it. Uh, at least the, uh, the hardware. So, um, and that would be the best situation that just the hard, the software update is enough to make this much more usable. Um, and then you don't have to go through the process or the expense of updating your, your, uh, MCU chip card. All right. Um, so I didn't test navigation, uh, which I would like to, uh, which I, I'll, I'll do that like, um, somewhere else or something. Because uh, in this one, like if I say navigate to, like if I said navigate to Chicago, it takes quite a bit of time for it to calculate that route and come up with the directions. It seems like longer than it did when I first got the car. And the Model X, uh, which has the new MCU, it's very quick. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right, um, that's it. So that was the quick and dirty MCU. Mostly maps. The biggest, the biggest change is maps, and then this thing going up and down. The uh, and the browser. I guess the browser is pretty dramatic uh, change, but I don't use the browser that much anyway. Maybe I would more if it um, was faster, so we'll see with the Model X. So, alright, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.